afternoon everyone, it's PGG Golo here with a new tutorial. This one was mentioned on the Ninth Edge forum by K Down Under, and this is for intestines and guts. So I've got this little gribbly head here that I've just mounted on a couple of poles just so I can try and show how I would do guts and intestines really. So we've got some greaseproof paper, a little tub of water, a nice comb of different sized barbs, green stuff, and then green stuff sculpting tools. First thing we want to do is just try and secure your bit of paper onto the tile. This will just help when you're trying to roll around the green stuff in a second. Get your size of green stuff and get them all mixed. Make sure you do use plenty of water as well just to stop it sticking to your fingers and it tends to get quite messy if you don't keep manipulating him until he's ready to go there we go, add more water and gradually just pull him out into a really long little sausage there make sure your paper's nice and wet and then roll him out get into the size that you want ready for shaping with the comb in a second there we go, he's all ready then you gently press the comb onto him and roll him back and forth and it will start to put the imprints on similar to how intestines look or a worm or something, anything that, that has that ringed sort of look. Once he's dried a little bit you can then start adding him to your model. So yeah, I find using the little tools easier than my fingers. My fingers tend to stick to everything and it's not fun. But gradually just work him into the area you want, make it look how you'd imagine. So what we wanted is the, the big beastie there is ripped open something and just having a chow down on some nice intestines. I find it easier to just keep adding and keep adding rather than putting it all down at once and trying to work it all together. And just keep adding different parts, cutting pieces off, and just getting it to how you wanted it to look. So I think at the moment, it, although it looks good, it will be a little bit unwieldy to have that on a model. So I think we're going to trim that large one there, just down a little bit. Otherwise, he is going to get knocked off on the battlefield. Once he's dried a little bit more, you can start to then manipulate him with the tools and start adding details putting parts in where you can maybe put a fingerprint just try and make it look a little bit more natural there we are that's the, the finished green stuffing I've also filled in the, the throat area as well and we're going to leave them to dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll undercoat him which we'll use a chaos black spray we're going to then paint the rest of the model then we'll just focus the video on the guts. There we go. So our little beastie's all painted. So now we're going to focus on the guts. First of all, we're going to do a base coat of burnt red. I like this red, it's really, really good at covering. But also, again, it's got a nice deep, dark colour. Which is really good, especially if you're doing something as gross as this. Next up, a 50-50 mix of squid pink and burnt red. We're then going to start getting the raised areas, all the bumps and lumps of the intestines. Anywhere that you'd have the rings, anywhere that you'd have extra bits of folds of flesh. Just to try and really contrast against the red. The big thing with intestines, especially human organs, is that rarely are they just one colour. It's normally a multitude of different pinks, reds, browns, even some purple if there's bruising. There we are, we're going to let him dry and see what happens next. We're going to add some more squid pink into our mix, so it's now a three part squid pink, one part red. And we're just going to do a final touch up on all the rings, just to make him really, really pop out. It's already looking quite grim. There 
we are. So that's where we are at this stage. Lovely. We're going to do a Caraber Crimson Wash. We're going to go into all the recesses. And then just do a, a light part over the top of the whole lot. But we want it to pull. We want it to get gather in all the darker places. Give the impression of wet, bloody organs. It does help to dull down the squid pink as well. We don't want it to be too vibrant like an Emperor's Children pink. There we are, it's nearly dry. It's looking quite gruesome. Looking quite cool there. We're going to let them dry for a little bit longer. We're going to do Drooky Violet and we're going to go in a couple of the folds and a couple of the recesses. This helps to give it like a bruised organ effect just to make it even more grim and then finally we're going to use a blood for the blood god and we're not going to coat the whole thing which is normally the temptation to do with this we're just going to do it in a couple of areas just to give it a little bit of a Yes, they're organs, but there's also some blood there when you disembowel someone. But a couple of bits on the teeth, we want to make it look a little bit more like he's having a nice munch. We're just going to keep working it around, keep moving it if you need to. You can remove some of it if you wanted to, if you accidentally put too much on. But I find that it gives a nice sort of glazed but wet effect as well which especially when it's on the teeth is quite quite pleasing and there we go guys that's him all dry that's the finished effect looks pretty grim but that's how I would do organs or intestines or anything like that big thanks to Kay down under who requested this on the ninth age forum um, and i hope you find it useful thank you very much guys if you do have any further requests please give us a call or give us a shout we're more than happy to get new videos and try different things and techniques and see what we can do take care bye